Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me to hear from the Bible and worship God together. Today is the second Sunday in the time we call Advent, where we spend time preparing before Christmas. Our Bible reading today is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verses 1 to 10. You can find this in the Old Testament if you want to read along with me. It's entitled, The King of Peace is Coming. A branch will grow from a stump of a tree that was cut down. So a new king will come from the family of Jesse. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon that king. The spirit gives him wisdom, understanding, guidance and power. And the spirit teaches him to know and respect the Lord. This king will be glad to obey the Lord. He will not judge by the way things look. He will not judge by what people say. He will judge the poor honestly. He will be fair in his decisions for the poor people of the land. At his command, evil people will be punished. By his words, the wicked will be put to death. Goodness and fairness will give him strength. They will be like a belt around his waist. Then wolves will live in peace with lambs and leopards will lie down to rest with goats. Calves, lions and young bulls will eat together, and a little child will lead them. Cows and bears will eat together in peace. Their young will lie down together. Lions will eat hay as oxen do. A baby will be able to play near a cobra's hole. A child will be able to put his hand into the nest of a poisonous snake. They will not hurt or destroy each other. On all my holy mountain, the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the sea is full of water. At that time, the new king from the family of Jesse will stand as a banner for the people. The nations will come together around him and the place where he lives will be filled with glory. Let's talk about our Bible reading now. Christmas is a time when Christians around the world celebrate the wonder of our Lord Jesus coming to earth as a tiny baby. These words we have just read from Isaiah were written over 700 years before Jesus was born. They speak of a new king coming from the line of Jesse, which means from the same family as King David. 700 years before Jesus was born, Isaiah was predicting his birth. But Isaiah didn't stop there. He also predicted that Jesus would be filled with God's spirit. He wouldn't judge people and his strength would be goodness and fairness. All these things we can read about in the New Testament, where Jesus treated people both fairly and without judging them. Then Isaiah goes on to talk about the peace that would come to earth where normally fierce animals will live together and not hurt or destroy each other. Christians believe that this is referring to a time in the future when Jesus will reign again. This is sometimes referred to as the second coming, a time when Jesus will return to bring peace to earth once again. At this time of the year, we both celebrate Jesus' birth and look forward to a time when Jesus will reign again and peace will return to the world. Let's talk to God now. Jesus, light of the world, we raise our voices, shout aloud, to tell them all, to tell the crowd, that praise is due to you alone, the promised King upon the throne. Amen. And let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>